Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'll be showing you what's new with the Android 4.4.2 update for the Galaxy Note 3 and the Galaxy S4. Yes, I'm using a Galaxy Note 3 N905 in this video, but the update for the Galaxy S4 i9505 is also similar. Unfortunately, KitKat for TouchWiz does not support Android runtime, at least not yet. And let me start by saying there's no major change to the graphical user interface. If you've been following recent developments, uh, you might have seen Samsung's new magazine UI being leaked. That doesn't make its way over here. I guess Samsung's saving it for the Galaxy S5. Well, to start with, on the lock screen, you now get a big camera icon. So you can launch the camera by sliding from it. The notification bar is now uh, transparent no matter what wallpaper you have. And the icons on the notification bar are white. Change number three is with regards to the messages app. So quickly going into settings here, you can uh, switch between Hangouts and messages as your default messaging app. You can also do this quickly uh, from settings that brings us to number four on the list, right from default applications, you can change your messages app and also your current launcher. So even third party launchers will show up here. You can also uninstall launchers, third party launchers right from here. Change number five is with regards to the music app. So let's quickly open up the music player and play any track. Now on the lock screen, you get full screen album art, just like with the Nexus 5. So that's a welcome addition. Let's open up the keyboard for number six on our list. That's emoji. A lot has been added. Number seven, this isn't something that I can actually show you uh, on cam. Overall, the Note 3 and the S4 both feel a lot more snappier. Uh, the performance does seem better. Uh, and even benchmark scores are reported to be higher, but I'm not really going to get into benchmarks because end of the day, the numbers and Samsung's been taking a lot of flack for manipulating benchmarks. So let's not even go there. So number eight, let's go into the GPS settings, location. So you now get different modes. GPS only, power saving, high accuracy. You also get recent location requests. So these are new to uh, KitKat 4.4.2 on the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3. Number eight is added support for wireless printing. So go into more networks and you have printing. You can choose Samsung's printing service. The next new addition is that you get the latest versions of uh, certain Google apps like Drive and Photos, which you can get only with KitKat. The next one again is not something that I can show you guys because I don't own a Galaxy Gear. Galaxy Gear needs you to be updated to the latest version of Gear Manager uh, for it to work with KitKat. And then the la last but not least is the one I showed you first. So uh, that's the new Easter egg, KitKat. Have you noticed anything apart from this? Do you think I'm missing anything? Uh, have you learned something new by watching this video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So I guess that pretty much wraps up this quick little video here, guys. I know it's not a lot of changes. This is one of the reasons why I didn't do a what's changed video. But after my installation tutorials, a lot of you seem to want to know what's actually changed. So you guys wanted it. You got it. This is what I've noticed. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And to stay updated on the latest in tech, make sure you check out our partners over at omegatroid.co where you can also find all my videos. So once again, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon on the next one. Till then, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.